what's up you guys what's up what's up this is one of my favorite companies for lace wigs in the entire world girl i told you guys i do have a couple of favorites the wig that i actually have on is from their sister company so i don't have any doubts in my heart in my heart of hearts that this is definitely going to work out in my favor you know when you have like those doubts this is not one of those. I wanted to send a special shout out to a company that sent me some t-shirts in my post office box. I love surprises, so when I seen these graphic tees, I was really, really excited. I love to wear graphic tees in like almost all of my videos. My go-to type of clothing, I really don't like to be dressed up too much. Kind of like a medium maintenance, not too low, okay, because I don't want to be down there, but not too high neither. JP Craft and Company sent me graphic screen tees. I have on is this one right here, Friends TLC Retro 90s Tees. So it is a size large and you can definitely get it in other colors besides black. They have sweatshirts, they have sweat hoodies, they have other products too. The shirts are really affordable and especially for a hoodie these days, you can definitely find a variety of different styles on their website such as Jefferson's, Set Tape, um, screen tees. I try not to wear a dark color shirt only because, you know, I don't want it to blend in with the hair. It's a cassette but tape and it has Jodeci on it. So if you guys are really, really young, you don't know who Jodeci is, I suggest that you go and YouTube it. Late 80s, very early 90s tee. And this is Dwayne and Whitley. Um, I think the show was called The Real World. You know, listen, I haven't watched the show in like forever. I just I just know that it's a spinoff of the Cosby show. So check out JP Craft and Company. Special shout out to them. Thank you so much for the t-shirts. RPGshow.com. I've been rocking with them for over 12 years. Their wigs have definitely improved like by far tremendously. And I will be glad to say that they are worth every coin because you know your wig is not going to look like a wig. And you really don't have to do too much work. The wig that I have is the Katie Bloom 007, and she is 18 inches of kinky straight perfection. It's a glueless full lace wig, but you can also get her in a lace front too. This is Swiss lace, transparent tinted Swiss lace, so it's going to melt into your hairline like my first wigs okay like there's no baby hairs honey you don't need to do anything to this wig you don't have to pre-pluck it you don't have to bleach it you'll definitely have to style it so i was happy about that because i don't really like to do much especially not to hair all the time it does come with one of their signature elastic bands which are already sewn in the cap you can tighten it to your liking if you want it really really tight on your head girl then go for it swell it up whatever and it also comes with the combs and six inches of parting in the front. But like I said, it's a glueless full lace. So if you want to put parts in the back area, you can. With this unit, you can definitely put like two braids and you'll have like a scalp like appearance. I'm going to just show you guys everything that you're going to get in your package. Because so when you receive your package from RPGshow.com, you will receive their black standard box, which says bold and sexy hair. As well as that, the box will inform you that the hair is 100% Indian virgin hair. And you'll also receive a wig cap, some conditioner, which will smooth, moisten, and soften the hair. The wig that I have is the Kiki Straight 18 inch, and I do have a cap size one, and this is a glueless full lace wig with transparent tinted lace. RPG Show will also include one of their magazines, which will showcase some of their wig units, along with that, some of their beauty gurus. This is what the unit looks like straight out of the box. She is kinky straight hair. And she does have some color in her, more or less like highlights. I would say the color is on a scale of a color number 33. When I checked the ends, they looked really healthy. There were no dry or dead ends and the hair was really sleek. So basically all you would need to do with this unit is just put her on and style her and go. Just to give you a little close up of their tinted lace, which is transparent, I wanted to show you guys that, as well as you won't need to bleach any of the knots because all of the work is done for you. Yeah, 
hair. I was really excited about this because I love kinky straight hair. Any type of textured hair, like curly or wavy, I'm there for it, honey. Shut the front door because I'm going to be there. Knocking and all. If there's nothing in the world that you want to do, but by the way, definitely check out RPG Show. It does have a stretch cap and it has the combs inside of it and it also has an adjustable strap and the elastic band first of all let me just tell y'all this i finally went and got me some brow trimmers using this is not really easy so if you guys don't want to use these you can definitely get yourself a small pair of scissors especially for beginners if you don't know how to cut the lace i would say get you a small curved pair of scissors versus trying the eyebrow trimmer method because you don't want to accidentally cut any of the hair off. so the first thing you want to do you guys is cut the lace off at the nape which is just a small square piece you can just cut diagonally across and then you want to place your hooks in so that way your wig will fit snug and it won't fall off girl Okay. I'm just going to place the comb in the nape along with that. I'm also going to be using the combs on the side, which I will anchor in my braids. I always tell you guys, you definitely will need some clips. Dollar Tree girl, Dollar Tree. So for the beginning, I'm just going to cut the lace with my scissors. And then I'm just going to attempt to use this eyebrow trimmer to remove the lace. So this illusion or the reason for this method of using the eyebrow trimmer or a razor is basically so that you can have more or less not even lace like kind of like jagged edges so that way it'll blend a lot more easier now i'm gonna be honest and tell you guys this was kind of like a challenge you know you got to get used to some things and i'm not really sure if this is like my favorite method but i'm gonna just go with the flow and give it a couple more tries before i decide whether i like it or not but you will need a um a bra a you will definitely need a sharp brow trimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and customize the wig on the sides. Now it was just a little bit of hair or lace overlapping my ear, not much. You can barely see where I'm cutting it because the lace is so transparent. But I do cut off just a snippet of the lace just to make sure that it fits properly. You don't want any lace like folding over your ear. And I'm just going to repeat that same step on the opposite side. And now it's time just to make some sideburn hairs. I'm not even going to make any baby hairs, but I am going to part it as if I was making baby hairs. But the reason that why I am parting this as if I was to make baby hairs is because I'm going to use my hairspray in between the part so that way I can adhere my wig. And you can either spray your hairspray underneath as you see me doing here, but I am going to spray it underneath only at the sideburn portion and then I'm going to spray it on the top. The reason why I do that is because sometimes the sideburn portions will come just a little loose so I'd rather make sure that they're really secure. I'll take my blow dryer and my rat tail comb to press into the lace so that way it will adhere. None of the hairs will stick down and if they do you can easily just use either a wet tissue, wet paper towel or just a wet washcloth to remove any of the stickiness from the hairline. And I'm just going to take my toothbrush and brush the hair back. As you guys see, none of the hairspray tacked down too much of the hair, but just a little bit on the sides. And as you guys noticed, I just took my baby wipe and just removed the excess hairspray. It's a really easy application. It's not like the glue where it gets a little messy. Even right there, I just also used my wet baby wipe to just remove any excess hairspray. And I'm just going to spray that same hairspray, which is the Got To Be Glam Force, on the back of my toothbrush brush to just kind of like lay my cyber hairs down and girl I done went back to the old school Dollar Tree hair styling mousse so that way I can sculpt my baby hairs because I just noticed like with the Dollar Tree styling mousse which is salon selectives it doesn't lift up my wig so I decided to put me up at the upper left corner uh, basically styling the wig prior I wanted to flatten the top of the unit off camera because I really don't like to just flatten it too close to my own hair girl the hot comb gets a little bit scary but this hair is actually really really full but I was so surprised at how easily it would just transform into a more or less sleek style so I did start out as you guys see me on myself using my comb just to kind of like flat iron it 
but I realized that the comb was definitely not needed. This hair actually smooths out really well. It straightens out really, really easy. And just at the top in the other video, you just see me slicking down the edges. And this is the reason why I did it on the mannequin because I just don't want it so close to my own hairline or skin to where I burn myself. Girl, the hot comb makes me a little nervous, okay? But as you guys can tell, the hair is just easily transforming into a more sleek style. But, you know, if you want to wear it bigger and more full as if you see me before prior to flat ironing it, then it's definitely your choice. But I like it a little bit more relaxed, so I'm just going to continue to flat iron it. And I'm not even needing to use the comb just to make a pass. Just one pass through with this hair and that's it. And to kind of like flat, flatten or slick down my hair, I do use the wax stick, which is provided by RPG Show. And the highlights are actually really pretty in this unit. They're like a chestnut brown or like a reddish chestnut brown. You know, I like the way they place them. There's not too many. You know, I do like the fact that the hair is kinky. I told you guys, this is one of my favorite hair textures. And in case you're wondering what the heat temperature is on my flat iron, I do have it up to the highest temp, which is 450 degrees. Now this lace melts so nice, like listen, it's so pretty, it's very transparent. I think like this is one of the best transparent lace wigs that I have tried on the market. You know, you guys, I do a lot of tutorials and I do come across some really good wigs, but I just really do like RPG Show's wigs the most because they just really are transparent. They do seem like they melt into your skin and the quality of the unit is always banging. I wanted to try something different or not really something different because I've done this several times before but I wanted you guys to see how smooth the hair is as well as how functional a full lace wig can be you don't have to get a full lace wig you can also do the same step right here with the lace front especially because they do have six inch deep parting lace fronts on their website but I just wanted to show you guys how smooth the hair can become to where you can also put it up in a half up half do hairstyle especially with this texture you get a nice full bun or ponytail and I just think it looks so natural and so realistic okay so first of all I definitely need some baby hairs with this like this pull-up style I just wanted to show you guys what you could do with it because it's so transparent if you didn't want baby hairs on your own natural hairline for like a pull-up half up half down bun ponytail then you didn't need them but like I listen I I got a long head and I need to take away from the longness of it. So I definitely would need like a baby hair style with a bun, a half up, or a whole ponytail. At least I have the option of pulling my lace wig way beneath my hairline. So even though there's only like two little pieces, it's kind of like camouflage and it's starting to do the camera. But I just wanted to show you guys the difference in how you can wear their wig. I'm happy that I did not have to use any baby hairs in this unit at all. I just wanted to show you guys that when you have a long head, you're definitely going to need some. 
so i hope this video was not too long for you guys it sure wasn't for me i'm really happy about rpg shows new unit I will post all of the information down below. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Shout out to RPG Show. They is definitely making us bold and sexy for the 2020. Honey.